students, I was doing I was a reconnaissance work for, for a, another presentation. But I got to Waterloo Bridge, and none of you guys will know this guy, but um, Ray Davis, who's the lead singer of a 60s band called The Kicks, was performing an outdoor concert for free. So I stopped for an hour and watched that. But it's, it's amazing what, th what you'll come across. You'll come, we, we, we did when I was teaching at Texas A&M, we went a little bit to the west on one of the walks, and we'd finished this walk about five or six o'clock, and we, we'd stopped, and there was um, a camera crew setting up, and they were doing a, they were doing a uh, shot of a building across the thing. And, um, they were filming the opening, what became the opening sequences for one of the James Bond movies, because the mm -hmm. building they were filming was the MI6, so the secret service building. So there's, you, you'll see stuff. I, I, can, I have no guarantee. We saw, they were filming um, Agent Cody Banks one year in London. Um, <laughs> it's, it's amazing what you'll come across. Um, and, and summer is always the time when they tend to do this stuff too. So we're bound to see something. So I, I'm not, I, I'm not telling you any time that we're going to be stuck. I know we'll probably start. We'll probably leave around nine. We might get done early. We might get done late. So, yeah, if you guys see something you're really interested in, you want to stop and do, um, we'll do that. Any other questions about? We, uh Kind of interested in the World War Museums. Imperial War Museum. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah that's. Uh, where is that kind of? Okay. Um, yeah, zoom out. I'll show you where it is. It's a bit of a bear to get to, to tell you the truth, because it's um. Okay, it's in Lambeth. Okay, so here's Lambeth Bridge. Here it is. Here on Friday. Yeah. It's the Imperial War, War Museum here. Okay. The, the, why I say it's a bit of a bear to get to, there's no tube station right outside it. Um, Lambeth North, you have to walk down <coughs> the Kenning Road. Um, there's another tube station down here as well. But it's well worth it. Um, I, the, the thing you've got to do if you go there is go through the trench, first of all, the trench experience. Mm. Just walk through it. And, and what they've done is they say, um, from oral histories of survivors of the First World War in trenches, they asked them about what, what the sounds were like, but they also asked them about what the smells were like. Mm. So you walk through it, and there's this overpowering smell of decay and, and um, uh, what do they call it? The stuff you put down. Um, no, it's <laughs> bleak, like a bleachy smell, where they tried to, to stop the demon. Because that was what they were told was the overpower. But they've got um, you know, everything in there from all the wars. Um, it, it's, I mean, it, it's wor well worth going to. And, and it's really good. The other thing is, if you do go to the south bank, or the south side of the river, and we'll see it as we're going through, there's the, the, big, the tallest building in, in London used to be the Nat West Tower. But now it's the Shard, which is on the south bank. Um, which is around that area. Um, <coughs> so yeah, that, that's a good, that's definitely a, a good one to go to. Anything else? Okay. So the country war. <coughs> um, what we'll have to do on the country walk is we'll have to go from our accommodation um, in, in north, um, north of the centre of London and get the tube to, to Marlebone Railway Station, which is one of the um, four main line, line, main line stations that are along what's called the Marlebone Road. We'll probably do what we did last time, which was we caught the bus, didn't we? Yeah. So we'll catch, catch a bus. It's, it's fun to go on a bus. And the... the, <coughs> the um, uh, why is Karen Oyster card, um, which never runs out if you've still got money on it. That will get you on buses, the tube, some of the rail railways in London, but also the railway, the um, river, 
does it count? I can't remember if it counts on the river tube or not. Anyway, so so we'll go to Marlborough Railway Station, which is um, I, I like. Well, it's my home. It, I guess it's the railway station I'm most to use in London because it's where my hometown goes into. But um, it's the the neat thing about it is it's been heavily um, upgraded in recent years. If you ever get to see the Beatles movie A Hard Day's Night, there's a whole load of railway station scenes in that, and they were all found at Marlborough Railway Station. So we get on the train, and we'll have to buy tickets that take us into Princess Edgeburg and take us back from Wendover, <coughs> back to Marlborough. And it's about 45 minutes. Um, it will take us uh, about 45 minutes, probably about 35 minutes of it, We'll still, we'll, we'll still be in heaven, heavily urban areas. You won't really realise we're into the countryside until sort of that part of the journey. But we'll get to um, my hometown um, called Princess Risborough. Um, that's the railway station. We'll get off this side we'll go over. We're actually doing a huge amount of construction work there at the moment. They're replacing all this taddy old um, uh, asbestos cement roofing materials um, with, with new stuff. So it's hopefully they've finished it, but it, it was all covered up and scaffolded um, when we got there. One of the things that we'll do, go back to the map Tom, because I'm gonna sort of explain a little bit um, about why, why we're doing this work, the sorts of things that we're gonna be looking at. Um, it, it's the town itself is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. As Riseburg. So it means there was a town there in 1066. That's over a thousand years old. The historic core of the town is around here. If you went to look at maps from the 1800s, before the railway got there, there was nothing down here at all. But when the railway was built, there was development started, stuff started getting built up around the railway, and you can see all of the infill that's occurred between um, the main historic part of the city town and the railway. All of this stuff down here is um, 20th century. There's some 1930s housing, but most of it sort of 1960s and 1970s. One of the things that I'm going to point out to you, which I think is really important, is this area here and this area here, which is where I grew up, is all what is called social housing. It's government um, provided housing. So the government built it after the end of the Second World War because there was a huge demand for housing because of the large amount of soldiers that were returning and the number of new babies that were built. So we'll go past all that housing, but what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll leave about nine, we'll get into Prince of Brisbane around 10, 10, 30, 11. I'll give you about an hour to wander up and see this, um, visit all the shops. Um, there's some places, there's a big um, supermarket or grocery store down here where you can buy food. Because you want to get your backpacks filled up with food to eat and drink because we're going to be walking for about four or five hours. There's a restroom here in the car park. You'll need to use, especially you, you Rebecca, not pick because it's not really easy for you to go to the restroom when we're out in the country. Oh, uh, right. So you need to make sure that you go to the restroom. Um, okay. Because I'm just trying to be polite. No, that's great. Um, because you're, gonna, wait, you're, there's not, you're not going to have another opportunity <laughs> for about six hours. That, that's the reason why. Good. Um, so we'll go through this social housing and we'll get up to, we'll start our country walk. Now, you want to make sure that you've got appropriate footwear. It's going to be July, sorry, it's going to be end of May, early June. It's probably going to be still a little bit mucky up there. So you probably want, you don't want absorbent foot, footwear. Because um, there's a good chance, I know some of these routes some of them, if it's been a very rainy spring, and I'll keep an eye on the weather, um, it's, it's going to be very, um, it's going to get very muddy um, in some of the